This reading is for a Libra, and this is March um, 28th through April 15th. The good you do comes back to you ten times fold. Opposite, opposite goals arising from difficult or different of opinions. Listen to your heart, intuitive insight that you can trust taking care of others, perhaps. Uh, reach out to others in comfort, time, and love. Uh, you will grow stronger from this situation. Illusions of being trapped, placing too much importance on items, getting caught up in fear and worry. Look up the numbers uh, 53 and 15 in your angel card meetings and 16. Let go of the belief system that no longer works for you. It is an important time in changing events and situations that lead to new opportunities. Plan your next step with your eye on the long-term goal. Sorry, I got the sniffles this morning. I had a bit of a cold. And it's snowing outside still. I might get trapped in my house. Lovely. Wonder if it's snowing where you guys are at too. Father of Swords. Let's pull these out. Let's see what it says. Somebody born in the year of the rat has a crush on you. But you're thinking about your kids. And you're not so sure. This person's about 35 years old, possibly 36, depending on when his birthday is. Um, I see a divorce. And somebody is wanting to step in between this divorce. Ah, there's a truck passing by my house, a sheriff. Must be on his way to work. I have a couple cops that are neighbors. They're very cool, they're very sweet people. Um, whoever this is, they're driving past your house, they're checking your accounts. They may even be hiding out in the snow, using it as cover to be a peeping Tom, who knows. What you can't see is, is that your ex was no good for you. And it's time to move on, Libra. Um, maybe you weren't in the best of relationships. Maybe somebody had taken advantage of your good graces. Let's kind of clarify who is... It says you have adult trauma that you're dealing with. You've had trauma that has kind of hounded you and hammered you. And it's time to let that go. Um, I feel like somebody needs to be doing shadow work. It's where you go and you go into a room with just a couple candles or just very little light and you see your shadow in the back and you talk to your shadow and you embrace everything that's happened to you and everything that you've done and try to look at past life regressions because you may have stuff from past lives that are affecting you to this day as well. So you want to be very, very careful with that. Let's pull some other numbers here and then we'll pull some names as well. You're going to be getting compensation if you're going through um, getting alimony or child support. Or this could be a work situation. Somebody is going to be getting compensated. You've got internet stalkers. You've got people that's checking everything else around about you. Um, you might want to get some guidance. You might want to see what's going on. It's somebody who's born in January. So this could be, let's see if we can pull some numbers here. See about what the date 
number is that we get here. Somebody who's dependent. Somebody that's born on the 2nd of January. Somebody who's bipolar, possibly a Gemini as well. But they can be very selfish. And somebody may have the coronavirus. You guys would be a good match with this person in January or in Aries. Let's pull some other cards here. Let's find out. Somebody has got 15 suitors here for a man. Um, be careful. One of them has got a big ego. Maybe you met this person at a singles club. Or maybe you went to like a friend's house. And you met a friend of a friend. Well, that friend can't stop thinking about you. They're constantly wondering when it is you're going to call. I mean, they're sitting by their phone. And every time the phone rings, they're like, is that her? Is that her? You know? Somebody's wanting you to call them really, really bad. Somebody is waiting and waiting and waiting. They just, they are in love with you. I see financial gain with this person. Um, possibly, it says you should stay together with your ex, but I'm not seeing that. Well, maybe new love is blossoming out of old love. You might be giving your significant other another chance because you're like okay so this happened or that happened now it's time to figure out what's going on it's time to figure out okay what do we need to do to make this work um i feel like there's a little girl that needs to apologize to you maybe somebody said something to you that wasn't very nice like you're not my mom or something like that this little girl needs to come apologize to you and it's somebody who loves butterflies and she's thinking a lot about wanting to apologize to you but it's kind of difficult for her because her ego's getting in the way and she doesn't know how she's going to be um how how you're going to take the apology and she's like okay well it's been this long uh how is she going to feel if i come to her now you know so it just kind of depends. Um, if it is your child, obviously you're going to forgive them. Obviously you're going to be like, hey, you know, I'm going to take you in my arms. Everything's okay. So that's what I get with this reading, Libra. I hope you like my channel. If so, like and subscribe. If you're already a subscriber, thank you very much. And you guys have a great day.